Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, welcome to the Great Soda Debate 2, Electric Boogaloo. Yeah, bitches! Please stay tuned next year for the Great Soda Debate 3, I Really Have to Pee. <laughs> tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. Which is what we're going to have to do after this. We have prepared a bracket of over 32 sodas and weird drinks that we are going to uh, inflict upon ourselves. <laughs> and uh, if you would like to participate in drinking our leftovers, I know that sounds dirty. Um, we'll baby bird it. We have, we have some extra cups, but also maybe uh, if someone wants to be a guinea pig, and run to the area next to panel one. There's usually a huge stack of cups at the uh, in you that like one. foyer area. Also, and I sometimes there's a pitcher of water. Well, there's those, but I mean like at the, you know what I'm talking about. Well, I mean, so <laughs> if you want to drink something, make sure you have a cup. I guess is what we're trying to say. Or I can spit it into your uh, mouth. Whichever say you mother may I then spell cup. Billy Bunch but, uh, shots off a dozer. Body shots. What? Who's doing body shots? We we have legit tournament bracketed these sodas against each other uh, as of 25, 30 minutes ago. Um, and, no, I told you there'd be two surprises. I just accidentally there, brought, like, three surprises. Yeah, there are some surprises. So th Is it a happy th ending? Those, the surprises are not on the bracket, but we'll make do and make it work. They're, um, they're just the wild card. So, uh, so, so the surprises are at the end, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, everyone gets how this works, right? It did, who, who came to this last year? All right, so you know, we got like a half a dozen people. And everyone gets it. Does anyone not get it? Are you in? Get it, got it good? <laughs> Do you get yeah, me? Well, then you don't need to drink anything. Um, Chug. Well, you see, one, uh, one thing that happened last year is we got got uh, got really caught up in the the debate and like uh, whether the soda won among us and whether the soda won among the audience and that sort of a thing. We're gonna try to kind of push through that a little bit faster because we've only got an hour. Well, also, guys, um, there's not a whole lot for you guys to debate too much on other than our reactions. Because how many of you have tried like ranch soda? Yeah. So. Well, that Who, one freak in the back. How many of you want to try ranch soda? <laughs> Who wants More to try than dog have tried it, So that's kind of interesting. Oh, my man. All right. So anyway, point is, is there going to be a plenty of you know like sodas in here that no one wants to try or very few people want to try? But um, one thing that we ask is uh, if you can make sure to give you know like other people that have possibly not had a soda a try or a weird flavor. That would be awesome. Uh, we could. We don't, we don't want to get to the point where we're like cycling a single file line through or something like that. So we don't have, a, I don't think we have enough people for that. So, you know, um, ha! I just want to say something real quick. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. So Very important. this, this panel, we, we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for a dude named Bert. Bert's yeah. Bert Leftwich. And, uh, uh, sadly, he's not with us anymore, but uh, Bert rules, and uh, if you want to hear the full story, come come let me know, but uh, yeah, this was all Bert. Very importantly, he, he was a man that, uh, you know, really uh, was balls to the wall, <laughs> and uh, loved experiencing new things, so we're, we're doing this for him. Give so, it up for Bert! I apologize that we don't have uh, a cool display like we did last year on the projector, but I've got all this shit on my phone. So, um, so our first contenders are going to be Fago Cotton Candy versus Fago Moon Mist Blue. My teeth already hurt. And uh, we're, we're putting those up against each other first. So, gentlemen, ready your cups. Let's just jump right in, right the fuck into this. So the first bracket is actually a battle of uh, like sodas. Uh, we kind of went through the list of sodas we had and just made sure we kind of paired things that kind of... Blue Fago against Blue Fago. Cream soda against cream soda. Okay. 
that sort of, we actually have two maple waters that we're putting against each other uh, in honor of uh, Team Canada, who is here and will be participating tomorrow in the Iron Chef competition. Uh, by the way, shout outs for Iron Chef tomorrow at noon. If you have not been to a MAGFest Iron Chef, this hotel is the only facility that we can run Iron Chef competitions in. So, damn you, um, Gaylord. You should be there. It's actually pretty awesome. Uh, but so, first, uh, I think we should uh, go ahead and go make with the cotton candy. I distinctly remember an ICP song called Cotton Candy. I wonder if this is going to taste the same way. No ICP here, fans are I can here, just so they don't hand them down go. here. It's a st it's a song about going down on lady parts. I want to feel that bubbly. Cotton candy. Are you ICP? feeling bubbly, oh, buddy? Nobody wants anything flavored like ICP. No. <laughs> this doesn't <laughs> taste like butts ICP. And herpes. No one I wants that. probably know someone that can verify that. Give me the herpes, Buzz. How many pours do I? I need seven pours. All right. um, we've got Jeez. four down here already, and then seven, right? Yeah. Yeah, seven, seven all together. Guess. Somebody Wait. count. That's not as wasted as I am. <laughs> yeah. Who knows how to count? Oh, yeah, seven. All right, Fago cotton candy. I'm, just, I'm live streaming. Word. Everyone. Chin chin, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> No. Tastes like it says. Yeah, it very, it's very cotton candy. Like, yeah. It is cotton candy. It, it's basically, it cotton candy. you know, rock candy, like the, the like that, soda. Like that cotton candy bubble gum. Like, tastes it fine yeah. to me. That's exactly yeah. what it tastes it, it like. It tastes like that cotton it, candy bubble gum, like that double bubble bubble How gum. are we rating this? Yeah. Shit to shitter. <laughs> well, we have to rate this against the, the next thing, yeah. so. Uh, like, like I, I don't know if I'd want, like, a huge bottle of this, but. I mean, like I'd, yeah, to 24 drink all ounces once, seems I'm like a bit much. Yeah. Now, I have had blue moon mist. Do we get ginger call, slices between tastes to cleanse our palate? I, I like to call this Fago uh, balloon mist sometimes. Everyone, my mom is watching this right now. <laughs> hi, Bill's What's up, mom? mom? <laughs> Everyone say hi to Mom Dozer. Hi, hi Mom, mom Dozer. You hold me responsible for any of this. He didn't do anything <laughs> yet. So, uh, so, so let's put this up against Moon Mist Blue, and then we can like leave them at the corner of the table for people to pour their own. Or, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Pass the bottle. That's, that's better. Someone steal a stack of those cups down there, cause we're all too lazy. Here, can you pour me a little? Ice? And then just put it lit, down there. Lit. Go down the panel one and get a stack of cups. Yeah, steal, steal from the. Right off the bat, it smells yeah. a lot better. Yeah, if you wanna, if you want some cotton candy soda, bring up a cup. Shot, 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 shot. Yeah, just you can just leave the cups over oh, here too. Like I could, cup. I don't know. Some, go whichever. Grab your cup. A brand new cup. Right, hey, Bosku's taking a shot at the cotton candy, and we're gonna. Oh, oh wait, we're waiting. I forgot to bring the whiskey this year, unlike last year. But the last year it really fucked me up. So I just got fucked up before I came into the show. Pass, pass and I figured that would work. Hi, mom. And so like you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is Fago Moon Mist Blue. All right, ready? Ready? Are we ready for this? Raise them up. Raise them up. Here we are. And it's so sweet. It is incredibly blue. It tastes blue and sugar. Oh yeah. Let, let's just look here. Uh, it tastes like blue. I mean, it's it's really Fago's, so you know, the like. Ingredient is blue number one. Yeah. Damn right, because that's exactly what it tastes like. This, blue this, number one. Like blue. this is definitely Fago's voltage. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. It definitely like Fago. Voltage. I, I feel like I could drink more of this than like the, this than the cotton than candy. Yeah. I like too, them both, but I'm going to give it to the blue. Yeah, I, does, I, uh, does Fago have caffeine? No. I'm sure the Moon Mist yeah. does. I don't, the, need it. the cotton candy does not contain caffeine. Really? It does, however, contain sucralose for that extra sugary, like, yes, fake uh, taste. I can kind of taste the sucralose uh, no, a little no, bit, no yeah. Caffeine, no, no. I actually don't mind no sucralose. No caffeine. No caffeine, but no caffeine in no the moon caffeine. mist? No. Really? Are you sure? <laughs> but, uh, lots... Oh, no, no wait. It, it, yeah, I think it, it's it in there. It does say caffeine, but it doesn't right. tell you how much is in. Uh, probably as much as do. I don't know. High fructose corn syrup, sucralose. Oh, all the good stuff. 
All right, guys, so I feel like this was pretty unanimous. Was it the moon mist? Did anyone think the cotton candy was better? No. I could never finish a bottle I'll of the cotton the candy, ever. Blue bank, I'm actually kind of even. Uh, the, the, the cotton candy, at least, like, I was impressed by how much it tasted. Like, co- if I was hankering ca- cotton candy, I could just go get some of that. The Fago contains an ingredient called ester of wood rosin. <laughs> She sounds like a nice lady. <laughs> Rez is watching. I, yeah, up, I, would, I, would, I would still give it like a slight All right, uh, so, lead so towards, the, like towards the moon mist. One, one slight leaning towards cotton candy and no one else, right? Pretty uh, much. It's a yeah. Yeah. It's blue. All right. blue. Blue is the color of her energy. So I'm declaring Whoa. our winner. Blue. No, no, I said it is actually slightly better, yeah. FYI, the guy in the green shirt in the fourth row has the hardcore title. Please challenge him and take it from him immediately. FYI, right. see Heggy's sexy. Yes, um, oops, fuck. <laughs> there are people in the audience watching this video loving it. <laughs> All right. I'm internet famous. Uh, do we, uh, we do have some water, so everyone should probably rinse their cup right about now. If um, you're trying the especially soda, especially because w- of what's coming up, can I if you're trying beer? the soda, please reuse your cup. You can cup do whatever do you want, new, but get be a new ready cup to every drink time. something completely different. Yeah. No, for something completely different. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're our cups. Cleanse your palate. Oh, really? perfect. Hey, it's like a wine tasting. I, I look forward yeah. to I that. I feel so classy. I can't do this we, either yeah. or. Pinky out. Pinky out, Brian. I got that. All right. Ryan, say hi to my mom. Hi, mom. Is everyone ready for the next uh, shootout here? Let's go. Last year, we had, uh, we had one odd man out. Uh, it was Soylent 1.6. Oh, oh, <laughs> Several people said that they uh, had some sort of GI problem after it. <laughs> um, we have brought Soylent 2.0 in flavors, so there is not going uh, like. If anyone has any problems with these, these are like sealed beverages with a long shelf life. That's it did not come with this. It's it's just cleansing well, your you, toxins. If you eat your own kind, then you've got problems. It's but organic. I want to so, say I'm sorry to all my roommates later tonight because I'm soy intolerant. Mom and dad, I'm so, sorry too. <laughs> Mom, you remember? We have Soylent Cafe Vanilla and Soylent Cafe Chai. The cafe vanilla is like, you know, sort of, well, we'll, we'll know in a second, but is aiming as a, you know, like kind of a vanilla frap type something or other, or, you know, like, and the, the chai is obviously like a chai smoothie or something like that, but, all right. I was really hoping it was going to be the berry one. You, you guys want chai or coffee first? Chai. Chai? Okay. Everyone say hi to Rob's mom. Hi, Rob's mom. <laughs> yes, we knew you guys are watching too. There's a Shout out. Oh no, no, no. I may be tore up on the floor. Oh, no. Don't drink it yet, everyone at the same time, right? See, I'm in the middle of a panel. The guys are so popular. It's like 50% cardboard. Oh my god. For, for what it's worth, I actually really like this. I liked it. Um, and I, I mean. I, I've had this so before, bad. so I'm I can say. I like the one point this is a whole yeah. meal. Like, a, like you do this instead of a meal. I'm, like, it's well, from, just because the founder claims you can. Last, last year we had Soylent 1.6, which is powder. You mix it yourself. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't I, drink it in a certain time frame, it goes rancid. Yeah. But but it didn't go rancid. It, I had just made it. Yeah. To a tea. Of, all right. Is everyone gonna have a cup now? Yeah. Cups up. Has everyone poured? By the way, it smells a lot better than. Six. Well, this is, uh, remember, this is chai. Everyone drink. It tastes like I drink a garden. If, if anyone has ever had a vanilla chai smoothie, in my opinion, that's pretty close to what it tastes like. Just not frozen or Fucking like... Fucking t- tastes good. Yeah. Oh, mediocre. I, I drink chai. It, it, it doesn't taste amazing, but like considering the amount of nutrients that are in there. Yeah, I, do I don't think spit? those spices. I am a human with, trash uh, can. Yeah, no. Okay. Right, we'll good. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it like clings. Hey there, how you doing? It's, uh, it's a doing good. Yeah. Having a little chai. What's your name, sir? Marshall. How you doing, Marshall? Oh. 
Hey, Balls, it's a very nice. Hello there, how are you? What's your name? Hey, Justin, how are you doing? Give the food, the Balls. Where are you from, Justin? Yeah. They're this, actually on version This one smells eight. leagues better. No. Yeah, you can really smell the maladextrin. Uh, it does <laughs> smell like chai, I have to say. This, this smells All right. really, this smells really does nice. Does everyone have cafe vanilla? Nope, still going down. Okay. Uh, still, still going, okay. This one does smell yeah. like... So, um, Rez confirmed that camera's not streaming for some reason. So no one can see it online. What? Oh. I feel so alone. Oops. There's a red well, on it blinking, but... Oh, shit, I just drank that without you guys. <laughs> well, oh, screw that you, so Bill. Much How than that last dare you? This <laughs> smells a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so that one's not as hey, bad. everyone looking for the hardcore I'm championship belt. It's in the VR down. room till 9 o'clock. Murph, <laughs> I got it. Get him. Murphy got it. Murphy got it. Get that, got it. Get that Murph. Yeah. This tastes like... Uh, Slightly unsweetened coffee. Yeah. No, that I could handle this all day long. Yeah. Hand, yeah. Hands down, way better than the chai. Vanilla. No, I like the chai better. I'm giving it to the vanilla, yeah. just like vanilla ice. Yeah, I'm definitely. Okay, it wait a minute. So, so we've got some very mixed opinions here. I really like the chai, um, but we definitely have some really strong opinions for the coffee. So. Oh yeah, God, give me some of that horrible figo to taste the. If, the chai, if the chai flavor was about three times stronger, yeah, the chai would be. Drink at your own risk, everyone. By the way. God damn it, you have to sign a waiver. We're not responsible for your bowels. It's cool. Okay, so so wait a minute. How many people do we have for the chai? We have we have two for the chai, and everyone else likes the coffee more. You, you, I like the vanilla. No. Vanilla. Vanilla. It tastes like vanilla coffee. So everyone likes vanilla except for like Steve and I. Pretty much. Wow. I'm I'm kind of surprised. Okay. Let me. Uh, the cafe really gets. I don't like coffee. Um. Hey there, cowboy. Let me ride that donkey, donkey. Let me ride that donkey, donkey. Debbie, get your All right. your Asian booty in here. What the hell are you saying hi to me for? Get in here, Debbie. Ride it, my this pony. This is not my mom, Debbie. That would have been weird. This is truly great. I actually have last year's brackets that we're just kind of typing over. So, um, so, so next up is uh, drink maple waterer. Versus Happy Tree Maple Water Lemon. Is it from Canada? Uh, but but the uh, the thing that's filled in as the winner is poop. <laughs> I dig it. Because we had Martian poop last year, and so I just put poop as the winner. I, I swear these maple waters aren't from Canada. We did not bring these ones. Hold on. Let's see if we need to prove him wrong. Uh, I say speculation right there. So, so oh. here's what we have, right? So the first one I listed was Drink Maple. And uh, this is product. product of the USA. Okay, so, so one. And it's certified oh, organic. So over here we have that Made in the USA also. <laughs> Huge American so, flag at the bottom. So America. wait, what, what states? America. One, one is from... Connecticut, it looks like, and the, uh, wait, no, 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 New York. So we have New York versus Massachusetts here. New York City. Yeah. New York City! Um, <laughs> all right, so, first up, ooh, and this one even has, look at this. Yeah, there's pr this bottle has protection. <laughs> Does it have a reservoir tip? Um, I'm also not gonna, ribs. Well, I, I shook this pretty well. In yeah. Canada, we don't have to dilute our maple syrup. We just suck it straight from the tree. So I really thought that was going to be a condom remark for a second. Like, in Canada, we don't use Are we going to drink condom soda? Oh. So you know. yeah. Everyone knows maple syrup makes a fantastic spermicide. Oh, yeah. Common knowledge. Common knowledge. Fuck you, Rez. We'll go at the speed we want. Something that also it, works it excellent birth control like is running sack. around in a skin tight pink suit. It smells amazing, honestly. I can't smell a thing. That's because you're used to the smell of tree sap. It's everywhere. Do you have, you know, 5% tree sap? value or whatever in your drinks? Yes, yes. 
Isn't there some sort of condition that like makes your pee smell like maple syrup? Some there kind is. of like what is that called? Maple I mean, syrup yeah. urine disease. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You know what also makes you smell like maple just temporarily is if you have too much Indian food. <laughs> that sounds. I'm not kidding. That sounds like a set of organic maple water. Right. And on that All right. Cheers. And on that note, everyone drink your maple water. Maple It's kind of just plain sweet water. It kind of tastes like a maple tree it's, smells. Yeah. I mean, it's not. Water form. It's like water lightly offended. laced with maple. It's like I washed the plates that I ate pancakes and then drank the water. Yeah, that's basically how yeah. it is. It's, it's, it's the dish water after you clean breakfast plates. Nature is the best chemist. But not Enjoy dirty dish water. Just Kate maple dish water from like your French yeah. toast or something. Yeah. French toast runoff. <laughs> French <laughs> toast runoff. <laughs> but can you see why kids love cinnamon toast crunch? That is just Apparently. imagery to the max right there. <laughs> Apparently this happy tree has coconut water in it, too. So, yeah. Yeah. so coconut water, lemon, and maple in this thing right here. It sounds like this is just like Canadian hipster drink. <laughs> it's not ours. <laughs> it's, it's U.S. hipster drink because they were Canadian before they were cool or yeah, something. Like, we, we <laughs> Like we're all stuff down here. I feel like you just, we just make this stuff imported to. Like it's possible. I might have seen this in the 7-Eleven. What what is the Canada version of California? Maybe we export it to there. Montreal. Montreal. Montreal is the version of like Dallas, isn't it? <laughs> well, Quebec is the version of Texas. It wants to secede. <laughs> Chin chin, motherfucker. All right, no, now we all have lemon maple water. Lemon maple coconut water. Ooh. I like that one. That's got a good bite to it right there. Mm, I dish the water. Lemon. There's no maple, but there's something else there that's. Yeah, it's like all you taste is a lemon, lemon maple and jizz. This this tastes like someone put Ultra Dawn in what we just drank before. <laughs> yeah. It's really weird. Which it's to like be there's fair, a party I in my really mouth and everyone dies. Well, I think that's yeah, really yeah. Yeah. I might have to like, vote heavily it's for the first. Spring fresh dish soap. I actually like it better than the other maple water, though. It does have that yeah, nice I little hint of say, soap. I, I like the lemon, even though I don't necessarily like either of these. <laughs> I, I felt more hydrated with the first one, though. Like, I drank it, I was just you like, felt like oh, it was I water. feel refreshed. I can bear and with like, the second one. The, the first, first one I couldn't bear with. The first one makes you feel refreshed. This one just makes you feel like you just put mouthwash in your mouth. Yeah. The lemon one is mouthwash. first one is refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give it to the plain maple water. Wow. Okay. All right. So, so are we... Does anyone like the regular maple water more? I guess, Dane? Wait, wait, wait a minute. We got one more? Yeah. The, f the first one more. We've got four hands, so that's that's three of us that like the lemon more. Yeah, yeah. I like the lemon. Better. I can I can bear with the third, uh, the second one, but the first one no. Okay, well we gotta go to fisticuffs over this. The first one is the winner then. So John St. John's in a panel, but I'm inviting him to watch mine. <laughs> we we actually uh, we already I've went through there. Bill, you steel. missed it. I I went through the entire room with the fridge. You're so dick. what do you mean? <laughs> Like, I'm not saying that there's a panel going on in this room, but fuck y'all, come down to panels too. Jo John St. John stuffed his pants with dollar bills. They, they appreciated the visit. John St. John bought me the nicest robe, and I know that sounds a little <laughs> but like, so. Was it before or after you, you know, no, uh, so hung out with him? Like, so John St. John bought me a spa robe, and it actually fits my giant ass. Does and I have a matching one. Yes. <laughs> All right. That is. We so are romantic. the first couple of Magfest. We really are. It's like, let me tell you about my best friend. All right. So next up, uh, we have some confusion that we need to alleviate. Oh, is this so, two of the exact same? Oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? If you don't already know, you can get some weird drinks at Big Lots. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> It'll sell average drinks. And so I was at Big Lots, and I saw that there is Jones Stripped there. This one says orange mango soda. 
This one says orange mango sparkling beverage. <laughs> they both have 30 calories. The rear label appears to be exactly the same goddamn thing. I just don't know what's going on here. So we need uh, this. This is unraveling the mystery for all of us. Is this a ketchup, ketchup, ketchup sort of uh, thing going on? Bottled in 2015. So extra three days. Yeah. So first we're trying orange mango. Yeah, which one? Orange mango soda. Soda first, sparkling beverage second. Don't forget to bring a towel. I always bring a towel. I'm so high right now. I have no idea what's going on right now. Smells good. I'm so high, oh my god. That's it. That's the beat. Kind of a crisp. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, let me get a little bit Jones better. Jones strips, fancy, but not just the source of labor and sweeteners. Oh, it's just, it's just are, like are they diet? both 30 calories as well? Yes. They're, they're both, they both have like a little bit of, uh, oh, they both have a little bit of stevia in them. Yeah, yeah I'm not looking forward to that. But like let's see if they did it, because, I mean, this is Jones we're talking about. I like Jones. Everyone got a cup? Yeah. Yep. All right, orange mango soda down the hatch. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that has a really tangy. bad finish on it. That's that stevia. That's stevia. Yeah, yeah, I'm, the, the it's front, like I'm not poorly terribly strong. into that. It's like citrusy mineral water, but like that end on the end. No good. No good. Yeah, the, the it's stevia, bad. Yeah. This, this was not my favorite. Please tell us how you feel about it. All right, so let's, let's compare to sparkling beverage. Don't do it. Yeah. It's so good. Well, it's funny because, like, I liked it going oh, down. Good. I smiled as it went down. Then, hey, mm, baby. Mm, no. I, I, I liked it for about a half a second. So I'm going to make a guess here, and that is that maybe they sold it as soda, and everyone was like, this is more like orange mango seltzer and changed it to sparkling water. Yeah, they just peeled off the stickers and everything and just slapped on the bill. Right. Bill. right. They tricked us. This was bottled in 2015, as oh, a wow. note. <laughs> What's the other one? Let's, uh, we'll have to see here. And the, uh, well, no, the, the, the uh, sparkling beverage appears to be uh, bottled in 2015 as well. Maybe that's when they made the switch. <laughs> it ages like wine, doesn't it? All right. All right, everyone, sparkling beverage. Let's put about. It's the same thing. Yeah, that's the same shit. Yep. Yeah. So those are exactly the same. If you want to taste so, something that tastes like shit again, we've got more. In, in my opinion, I'm going to give sparkling water the win because at least that name represents what I just drank. <laughs> same, shit, same shit, different label. Orange and orange mango taste alike. The mystery that never needed to be solved has finally been solved. Oh. Yeah, it, it does not deserve to be called a soda. Yeah, sparkling beverages. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm giving it some sparkling beverage. Toilet water. <laughs> uh, Toilet wine. At least it's honest. Toilet juice. Let me tell you about All right, the toilet folks. water I drank one time. So, oh, gee whiz. next up, who here is from the South? Woo! Yeah. America. The, the South America. is any place south of the Mason Dixon line. So, if you're not from Pennsylvania and you're from south of there, you're from the South. I'm sorry, Maryland. I live in Maryland and I know it to be true. So, next up, we have Watermelon Sour Patch Kids Jones. That sounds pleasant. And we're putting this up, a contender from only available in Canada, Watermelon Crush. Oh, okay. okay. So this is... That doesn't taste like the Watermelon Crush okay. uh, Pop-Tarts. Okay. Have you had those? I, I have it's not. So crush is a respectable brand. Jolly Ranchers. Oh, but there's Orange Crush. And Root Beer Pop-Tarts. Watermelon Crush is yeah. racist? Watermelon. He's got goggles. They don't have racism in Canada. 
They they just hate their you know native people, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. Holy shit! I feel like I just opened a watermelon. This actually smells like a watermelon. All right. I don't like watermelon, but I'm I'm uh. Yeah, that's racist, like racist, <laughs> racist, <laughs> racist, racist. That's all right. I'll crush the watermelons because I don't hate them. How dare you? Or I do hate them. I don't know how that oh, works. They're not good enough to eat. I see how it is. You fruit racist. <laughs> Fruity. <laughs> It, that smells good. I mean, it, God, it smells yeah. more like watermelon it, than most it drink. It's like a it, watermelon it, like, Jolly Rancher, yeah, and I'm pretty yeah. sure it's going to taste the same. Hey, hey, so hey, who doesn't love watermelon Jolly Rancher? This fat fucker right here. <laughs> oh, this man. <laughs> yeah. De- Come take the man. It's definitely, it's definitely like the watermelon Jolly RK Rancher. I definitely get that. No RKO. Uh, Green apple. Those smell like candy. This smells exactly like the liquefied watermelon. Exactly. Danita. Danita. I think the watermelon might win it before I taste it. Yeah, you know. Yes, audience participation. All right. Everyone on the panel, let's go ahead and drink while these people are fighting over it. Please don't discard the bottles, by the way. Oh. Oh, baby, no. That changes a lot when you put it in your mouth. It, it goes from, like... That's it, what she said. It definitely goes from, the, like, the Jolly it Rancher, and then the it, sugar. it just turns back sugar taste it. That's also what she I, said. I like it a lot, actually. To, to be fair, this this tastes very fake, but it, but it tastes more real uh, or true to a watermelon than any other drink I've had. I mean, it, it just tastes like somebody just melted a lot of Jolly Ranchers that are watermelon flavored. See, it, it has an initial sweetness that I find goes away, actually. Oh, oh, yeah. Like, my mouth doesn't feel like it's coated in just true. grossness. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, this is empty, so. Oh, well, yeah, no, but. Well, whatever. Oh, that's some good shit. Whatever. He's got the cotton candy, too. All right. Hey there, how you doing? So, I would give that a solid like eight and a half out of ten name? right there. And yeah, there was some weird, Ethan, wild stuff, as uh, Johnny Carson used to say. Where weird, wild right. stuff. Where are you from, Ethan? It's got a good, it's got, it's got a savory me? flavor to it. Oh, like, so like, so like, so savory so flavor. flavor. You can get underneath this table. No one will know. You love me. What's really in that? Oh, thank you. What, when's the All right. right. So next Sour up is uh, the Sour Patch Kids. Okay. Fuck. Really? I'm sure everyone is inspired by watermelons. God, I, seven. I got a tournament at, at four o'clock. I'm running. I just got a good idea oh, for no. next year. Oh yeah, Brian. Our Herons. tournament's at four o'clock tomorrow for King of the Ring. Quick plug. Uh, King of the Ring tournament uh, for uh, the Hardcore Championship belt at four o'clock tomorrow in consoles. Hardcore Championship King of the Ring tournament. Uh, only 16 people can enter. Uh, 16 men enter, one man leave. Yeah. You're so adorable. All right. Guys, we got to move this along. We're, we're never going to end this panel on time. This. this is Sour Patch Watermelon. Fuck. No. No. It's not bad. I like so, it better than the first one. So here's the thing. I hate watermelon, which means by default I like this better. Because it doesn't taste as much like watermelon as the first one. This is better than the first one. I like it better than and the first one. And I like the sour. I like them both. Um, I, I found the the first one more refreshing. They taste kind of similar to me. But which one is better, subjectively? Oh, that one was too sweet. I could not finish a bottle of that last one. Personally, I'm going to uh, give it a watermelon. All right, so, I so must, watermelon I, crush? Who, who's? I must, in good conscience, remain neutral. No, they, they were both watermelon. Which one's sour? Watermelon, watermelon crush. The first one, we have yeah. three votes. The second one? Yeah, second one. We have three votes. Who's abstaining? I, I was abstaining because I you, feel equally. You have but, to fucking tie uh, break. Break the tie, uh, bastard. I'm going to go for the, the uh, crush. You're going for the crush. So the crush won. 
All right, we can't talk about these sodas quite as much. Let's do this. Let's pour some shit. Speed round. Speed, Speed round. round. All right, next up, we're, uh, we're, we're bringing the rock. First up, Jack Black's Blood Red Cola. It'll make you a rebel. I hope so. Hey, pour a little bit of that. Oh, wait, I'm fucking hot. I'm mom. Actually, I have a little more. I need Pretty sure my mom quit watching something. All right. Actual soda. Yeah. It's not fruity or weird. Yeah. Mom quit watching. Who wants to give me a BJ? Under the cap that says, here's mud in your eye. Look blood red. What the fuck? I feel like all what did the Jones cap say? Right the Jones cap said bad. nothing. Oh, that does not smell good it said, at all. What? This is going to be it, fun. Oh. That, it said on the label, it said, first time available in 499 years. Did, have you guys smelled this? Or fourth, fourth time available. Okay. Sorry. I mean, I'm, I'm liking the smell on this. Oh, are we all? It literally Uh-oh. smells like Jack Dane Black, broke the, the rules. Actor. <laughs> you gotta pour a little bit faster. Swallow, swallow. <laughs> All right, everyone ready? Drink it. Drink. It tastes like a uh, spoiled Dr. Pepper. Yeah, it tastes just like a soda no, I, that went bad. Generic. It tastes like a generic brand that's it flat. Like bad, <laughs> I liked this. No, I'm in love with this. Mr. This was Pib, awesome. he didn't stick around to get his degree. Could be. <laughs> it does taste Ooh. just like Jack Black. Oh. Weird, strange, and I will never put my mouth yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. I, I just can't. <laughs> just like Jack Black. I don't know what to. I don't know what to feel or say about it. Honestly, it's not. All right, now we're going for fucking fancy Fago here. Fago original rock and rye, made with cane sugar. You deserve fancy Ooh. feast. And it's fresh. <laughs> So look, it's like steaming. Oh, it's fresh. Oh yeah, it's fresh. I peed it out earlier, just like 30 minutes ago. Fresh from the tap. Have, have we emptied the uh, the orange mango yet? Yes. All right, put these caps on them. Have we emptied the uh, do, the watermelon do, Jones that goes on? Yes. There. Should we move to just drink it when you get it, just to speed it up? Yeah, okay, we're going to just start drinking. Drink. Oh, <laughs> drink. It, this has slowly, slowly descended into drinking. Okay. Oh. That's weird, but good. Yeah. My, my impression of this is, what if, like, Dr. Pepper and Butterscotch had a baby? I will agree to that. Nice, it's that, that nice it out. It's very soda. creamy. Yeah. It's like like vanilla almost, but you don't. It's like not <laughs> vanilla. It's like Dr. Yeah. Pepper with a little bit of candy. Dr. Pepper, the cream oh, soda. Yeah, like a cream soda. Yeah. Yeah. This is Dr. Creamy. This was. I like this better than the re- the blood red. Yeah. No, man, All right, who likes rye better than blood red? Raise your hands. First one. Second one. Who likes the second one? Go. Second one. Wow, I'm the only one that liked the cola better. I really like the cola, but this one. Changed me, man. This this is interesting. <laughs> that gourmet fish. You know what this also kind of reminds me of is honestly this reminds me of um of red cream soda like Bark's red cream yeah, or yeah, yeah. yeah. But but there is like a little extra something. Christmas. ICP. <laughs> um, all right. So obviously the winner on this one is Rock and Rye. I would actually buy, out of all the sodas here, I would actually buy that one. Yeah, yeah, it's real good. All right. After these sodas here, I bought at least one. I'd buy that. <laughs> all right, so I'm picking the second one on this tier first. It is Jones Chipotle Pineapple. What? Oh. Who would put those together? Sounds who space. Wants, who wants, who wants to, like, just tag me out of this one? I hate, I hate pineapple so much. You're with the I same dude. I hate pineapple Chug, too. So Chug. The same oh god, it's diet. It, this is similar, probably, to the other, uh, the orange. Mango. Hey, uh, Rinse your cups if you haven't. Cleans your palate. Steve, make love to me. I get sloppy seconds. This is gonna get some looks. 
including for me. It smells like carpet cleaner. Fuck. Uh, something like other than car- carpet cleaner, but. Lovely. Oh my god. Oh dear. Oh. Whoo. That is. Who ah. does? Does anyone want to put something it weird in their mouth? Like it's oh. not a penis. <laughs> oh. Why? Why would you sell that? Oh God. If, if you want some weird now. shit, I want to I die right now. To Please this. kill this me. Is some weird I shit. Want that one. I inhaled while about to Chipotle drink this baby. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> it's like a dirty oh carpet shampoo. God. This is a dirty side. I that like how everyone wants to taste I've the disgusting sauce. I'm surprised at what the, the lineup is. Oh. I think this is gonna be a landslide. Look! No, a ranch soda would be a godsend. Oh. Oh, oh my god! Oh, my god. Oh. oh, I just burped it! Ah! Oh. I'm so sorry! Oh my god! Alright, certainly that's gonna be empty soon, so. Whatever, whatever All right. the next one is, it wins. <laughs> So it could be my own piss. I, I specifically, I'm, I'm sorry if you don't like pineapple. I put another pineapple up against this one. This is kiwi pineapple, however. This is Avery Bug Barf. It is called Bug Barf. Delicious. It's gonna be better than the last one. It has I to guarantee be. it's gonna be better than whatever we just drank. No, I got a bucket here. Yeah, it gets bad. You got a barf bucket. This is. Pre- this is pretty not bad. This is definitely, uh, in, in my opinion, this is like. When you go to the grocery store and your mom says you're getting bug juice, like this is the carbonated version of that. So colored sugar. Doesn't smell too bad. More or less. No? It tastes less like shit than the last one did. Yeah, I can bear with this one I'll more than the first one. one. I'll take this one. I'm Number just two. putting bug barf. I'm not even asking. Yeah, just bug barf. Yeah. Definitely bug barf. Bug barf all the way. Continue on. Continue on. liquefied uh, push pop or whatever those things oh. are. I hate kiwi and I hate pineapple, but I like that better than the carpet cleaner. All right, so next up. Here. Rinse your cups. Gentlemen, behold. All right, so next up is this thing called Freeze or something like that. Um, there, I've had a, uh, a lime version of this and a lemon version of this, and they're both pretty good. This one is red currant, which could be good and could be bad. Everyone say hi to Hoodie. He's watching. Hi, Hoodie. What up, Hoodie? in case you were wondering which hoodie it was. He is not cut. Either way, I don't the trick is they both have a penis. Uh, I'm, I'm into this. See, it had me it with, the, with the smell, but the taste is awful. It's better than the last shit. No, oh, like it's way too sugary in the back there. That's weird. All right, that's weird. It right? is weird. Yeah, the, definitely the after, like the first couple seconds, you're, it's all right, and then the last is little bit. Is there leaves in it? Is that why we have the weird after? It's kind of a yeah. candy flavor. I, I, I'm man. willing to bet money on that. Yeah, that back end I think this also has stevia, the, the freeze stuff. It doesn't make me want to die. All right, but we're, uh, we're going to compare this against another Avery monster soda called Monster Mucus. It's so... Soda, disgusting. Um, this is this is strawberry blue raspberry, and it is very purple. Pass that shit. I want to. I need a burp. So these sodas were clearly meant for the '90s, right? With all the gross-out names and stuff like that. I guess, but I really like the gross-out sodas. They're extreme. Extreme. I'm into this. French fries. I like this more than the freeze. I mean, like you know what? It actually does taste like monster mucus. It 
So uh, it, it's vegetable extracts with sweetener. It doesn't classify what the sweetener is, though. Strawberry. What the fuck rice. was that? That was monster mucus. <laughs> that tastes weird. You bought it. <laughs> That's not mine. That came from your your no, cash. Well, bro, it's mine. Oh, I guess that came from mine then. It tastes like like great Dermatap into a soda form. Never That's mind. Exactly what it it's, like. it's it's like great. Well, then, derm- then that came from uh, Wilmer Nan actually because. But, uh, but this tastes like great Dermatap in soda form. I never mm. liquor with me. Yeah. The purple drink is better. I will give the edge to purple. Does anyone think the freeze did better than the? No, than the purple, the purple. Was better with the smell, but yeah, definitely the purple. Purple. Okay. All right. Granddaddy purple. Right, also, awesome. this is from yeah. Purple, purple Daddy. Daddy. That's why we don't just like had a horrible I'll be your purple daddy. daddy. All right, we're getting through. The good stuff is coming. Uh, ah. That Bless you. Painful. Whoa. Um, I have an important question Hi, after everybody. I finish pouring. Bladder check? No. Yes. I already did it. What we got? What we got? What we got? Oh, what All right. We got? So this is X2 Energy. You can get this at Subway and also Big Lots, clearly. Um, and this is this is green tea, honey, lemon. Sounds very hipster. So this isn't carbonated, right? Nope. I call this shenanigans on the soda then. I'm gonna pistol with the next guy that says shenanigans. My question is, Mangina. Uh, this this is important for people that eat edibles. Uh-oh. Whoever. Have you, you ever? About, sir? <laughs> Whoever. We I are, don't know anyone that does this sort of a thing. We what? are good. An edible Christian. isn't most people. things edible. Has anyone has anyone that hypothetically eats edibles yes, continue. hypothetically belched up the flavor of an edible without eating an edible? No. And how the fuck does that happen? I've never heard if I had, I've never heard of it. This smells like a burp. Oh my Correct. god, this smells so bad. Oh, why? this is why? worse it, than the carpet cleaner. Why? It tastes it tastes pretty good. It tastes like a little bit like Arizona green tea. It also tastes like oh a burp. My God. It's like bad Lipton iced tea. Like that tastes like Lipton iced tea spoiled. Like that's like if you found a Lipton iced tea in Fallout. But not like the first Fallout. Like Fallout Four. I feel like I burped and vomited into my mouth. It's fine. It's fine. It's not bad. It was okay. Yeah, new cups. I wasn't cups? so offended Please by it. Please torture that I just yourselves like... with these sodas. I can't drink this. I cannot. I believe in you. I'm getting full brand new cups. That was so bad. We're right. getting new cups. I chose that first so that we can follow it up with dog drool. Oh, that sounds lovely. It's orange lemon. This is orange lemon dog drool soda. No. It's so cloudy. Look, Made it's with cloudy real dog as shit. From the dog festival. Was not me. That, that was this me. is weird. Oh, it smells pungent. It smells like uh, Glojo, orange Glojo for like washing your hands in a mechanic shop. Yeah. That's exactly what it smells it's, like. It's pretty Gojo-like, yeah. It does have a slight smell of soap. I think maybe Gojo with a little bit of Windex. Hey, listen, straight up, that's so much better than the tea shit, though. Uh, I like yeah. the you like the tea? Yeah. I vote the tea. Be friends. <laughs> number two. I got a number two. Number. All right. If you like the second one better, raise your hand. I'm abstaining from this vote, that's but fine, it looks one. like it won in any way. That's so. <laughs> is key. Yeah. No, it, it tastes right. just like Gojo. No, I grew up in a mechanic shop. My ca- my dad was a mechanic for like 30 some years. Like I smelt it on my hand. It yeah, it like tastes like dog drool. Which is... It does. It was better than the rotten iced tea from Fallout 4. <laughs> All right, coming up, another Jones. Everyone's favorite. Use this to rinse out your cup. What is this? It's another one of those 30 calories. This is Jones Lemon Lime. Let me tell you about a thing I, 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 I love. 
This is very seltzer like. I'm I'm actually of all of the uh, Jones things that we've had so far, this is the least offensive in my opinion. Absolutely. Like the Jones stripped anyway. Not the watermelon. I like the watermelon Not more bad. than this. Yeah. This is okay. It's like, almost like a seven uh, like a seven up. Yeah. I don't like it. Half halfway to seven up from New York seltzer or something. I don't yeah, like, yeah it. like a seltzer, yeah, I can definitely get like if if I had like a cheeseburger or something, but no sodas and this was the it's only It's like one, I drink like, a seven would, up out of somebody's it. armpit. Flat, if it's up. that or water. It's like a <laughs> flat <laughs> artificially <laughs> like sugared. This is when you horrible. shrink the seven finish. It's the like seven if you like had seven up and sweet low had a baby. Out come the big guns. Oh, Wow, that worked. Josh Sonderfrank, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone say hi to Josh. Josh! Oh, yeah. You got a bigger reaction than my mom, Josh. All right, now it's time for Old Town Lime Lemonade. Now, I, I bought this specifically because it reminded me of DNL. Did anyone try DNL? Yeah. Okay, we have some people. It's the Upside Down 7-Up. I thought that bottle was green and that this was going to come out yellow. This has an amazing color to it. It looks like slurp. It is kind of close to DNL, in my opinion. It smells like what I would assume slurp smells like. I thought that was a color bottle at first. That's really good. That's fucking squirt. No, no, no. Yeah, squirt is grapefruit. It looks like squirt. Oh, I like squirt. Oh my god. So next year we do the Mexican soda debate. It's a whole thing of Mexican soda. I really like this. Yeah, I definitely like yeah. the, I like that the fantastic. Yeah, the second one's definitely a lot better. Yeah, All right, no, no contact. I'm, I'm just putting lime in this blank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure no one really likes the seltzer stuff. No, no the fir first one, no. <laughs> See, However, see, speaking of seltzer bad. stuff, all like six of them that are watching this right now. Yeah. Rincio cups. You had a weird aftertaste too, but we let you stick around. Oh no! All right, last last Jones stripped. This one is a huckleberry. Brandon, why? I'm actually really excited about huckleberry. Wasn't there like a really good huckleberry last year? One dollar. Oh yeah, what was there that? Was. One? It was we uh, had we had huckleberry cream soda last yeah, year Kroger. from yeah. not just the fancy Kroger sodas, but the super fancy Kroger sodas. Oh yeah, the Shut up, Josh. Oh. Everyone tell Josh Sonder Frank to shut up. Shut up, shut up Josh. Shut the fuck up. He's, he's up. That these are my people. That's that's gonna get beat out by whatever the hell I put next to it because it oh, if will. Oh, just a little sweeter. That would actually be really good. It wouldn't if be bad. If it didn't have the artificial, like if that was just real if, sugar. If it had sugar in it. Yeah. Yeah. If this was a little sweeter, it would taste. Oh wait. Oh wait. Like a blue slush. Oh wait. No. <laughs> um, what's going now on we there? are putting X2 raspberry tea up against. <laughs> The huckleberry. Oh, no, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Bring yourself out like this. The, this is an actually this. difficult decision for Bill. <laughs> Damn it. Why do I want to do this? The huckleberry is not bad. It's Please. Not the huckleberry is pretty bad. Please but we're about to go against a, a ex. Another this beats ex the huckleberry, in my opinion. What? Yeah, a good bear, this. Oh, no. Just like me. Yeah, I think I agree. It just smells stanky. Like, it tastes stanky. Yeah, but blueberries smell have, bad. It does have a weird kind of artificial fruit aftertaste. But, yeah, it's not bad. It's not that bad. All right, so we've, we've already got three oh votes for the raspberry tea. Does anyone over there think the raspberry tea is better? Bill abstains. I like the first one better. Okay, I definitely you like, like the, the huckleberry better. So, so wait. So we have two. All right. What, what's the vote from the end of the line then? What? Huckleberry or raspberry? Tea, tea or seltzer? Tea. That. Wait. What? One blue, one seltzer. I'm going for this. 
Okay, that's the tiebreaker. We have four votes for the T. Oh, okay, cool. It's his name. I know, but... Oh, man, Cora's watching. Cora! Uh, fortunately, this year, I hooked myself up to a catheter, so... All right, finally, we're getting into stuff that doesn't suck quite so much. We're going to try Canada Dry Vanilla Cream. Hey, uh, we're going to just go to pour well, shit and react and vote real quick. Brian, you're, you've got like two hours for your panel, is that right? Do you mind if we encroach on you by about five, ten minutes? Yeah, whatever. Okay. We appreciate that. Would you like to try some sodas that taste like shit? I did the pineapple chipotle one, and no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> We're all about sharing here. Please spread the pain. All right, vanilla cream, guys. Vanilla cream. Vanilla cream. That's my that's my porn name. Right now. I I I have had this before, and I really like it. That's special. It's a lot different than and, expected. And we're putting it up against, mm, which is giant brand, maple cream craft brewed soda. That cream soda is actually really nice. Yeah. Now, you definitely get a lot of cream out of that craft soda. I'm tempted to say that no one should drink too much of this because we also have bacon soda, and we can mix the two together. Ooh. And try another round. So pour lightly and save this. Yeah. I'm sorry, audience. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Wait, For no. the record, though, I've got two bottles of bacon. So if someone just wants to have straight I think bacon. we need a bottle opener. No, it's good. Are you, we're good? It's good. I don't think I can drink a bottle of it, though. No, I couldn't drink a bottle of it. Like this smells like maple, by the way. It specifically smells like those maple cookies. Carbonated maple syrup. Wow. It's pretty it spot on. Like maple syrup. That is damn good. So, so oh, for, oh, get Swifty. That's good as shit. Yeah. For anyone that does not have a giant and was not shopping last year or whatever, this is a oh, grocery saving, store yeah, brand. <laughs> that one's really right. good. That maple. Wow. Yeah, what are we doing I, against I feel, the maple? So the maple <laughs> versus <laughs> the vanilla hard. cream soda. Maple. Maple, hands maple. down. Maple. Maple. Okay. Maple. Holy shit. Maple. Maple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's time to get weird, and you thought we already were. All right. Oh, no. Okay. Bacon soda, which Bacon we, soda. we can also... Uh, why don't? Why doesn't everyone? Well, no. Let's let's do. I was gonna say we could do maple bacon next, but. Uh, we need to try the bacon, bacon first. That's the afterwards. <laughs> smells like bacon bits. <laughs> All right. Oh. So. Again, burping is the worst right now. <laughs> burping. My stump. My, my stomach. burping game is gone really weird. Uh, my stomach right now. Uh, is, it's, it's, it is. Woo! This is bacon bits. The sugar soda. No. Oh, <laughs> no. 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 Drink more. No. Drink more. No. It smells so <laughs> weird. Is a man not entitled to disgusting I feel like soda? This is what like some people at this convention smell like this after they the don't shower. <laughs> It just bacon oozes out of the pores. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is exactly no. It's not that bad. This is exactly no. what people smell like about two days into a magazine. No. That's exact, I'm but like, but that's gentlemen, is, is bacon going to be smell. worse or better than teriyaki beef jerky oh, soda? Teriyaki <laughs> beef jerky <laughs> Are you sure you don't want in on this, Brian? Anyone on snacky cakes or bacon snack bacon. weird snacks? We are masochists. Oh no, I think we're doing it on another on another like another round. I don't know. What I, don't I don't know. It, the bacon is so powerful. The maple gets washed off. Oh, oh god. It has a nice caramel coloring. Yeah. What is that? 
<laughs> Holy shit. No. Oh. This, this is Chinese restaurant. I don't wanna. Iron stomach. Oh. Teriyaki beef jerky. It tastes like it says. It says oh. like it tastes. Oh my god, someone smell this. Oh. Come here and smell this. Just right on my we we have another it's bottle. Like someone of ate this. jerky and burped in your face. Yeah, I've got an extra bottle of this. Yes. Oh, no. oh, what the fuck? I think I just ate oh, it. Oh, God. Oh, Why, God? Oh. All that right now <laughs> in these areas. So, burping is what we try. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It tastes like oh, so bad. We, we need to find. Give that to rapists. Oh. We need to find who's accountable for this. This is what the prisoners have to drink in prison. Oh, I can't. No. Oh my God, does anyone have like some rubbing alcohol? I think we have all become white girls and we cannot even. Do you really have fucking Hey, uh, hey let's, uh, be before we vote on this. No, let's vote on it while it's fresh in our mind. Oh, I'm I'm saying bacon won bacon, this. Bacon. I, I rather bacon. I, bacon. I can get through bacon. Can you second one. No. Bacon. All right. Bacon. All right. We got four bacon. 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 All right. Now, now that we have voted on bacon. Can we pass both the bacon and the maple back and pour a little bit of each? Pour, pour very carefully. I, I think we should mix the bacon and the, the maple. Ben said it was really bad. It's really bad? Well, then we definitely need to do it. The bacon overpowers the maple. Light force. This, this is bonus round right here. Dude, if I throw up later, it's just gonna be bad. Going for like, a I want bit of bacon. Splash of bacon, heavy maple. Chin chin, motherfuckers. Nope, still really bad. <laughs> still really bad. <laughs> Terrible Maple's life good, decision. But, uh, Maple's good. You get, you get the first hit of maple, and then it just goes straight downhill. Disgusting. For that to be good, you're gonna need about three fourths maple, one fourth bacon, and it might be good. Splash of bacon. Oh. I didn't mind it. Yeah, I think you just have to mix it right. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Moving. Moving on. Our uh, our next match. That's the maple. Oh. Maple's good. Yeah, it's just like syrup. We're uh, we're gonna move to sweet tooth temporarily. Oh. Where were we before? Yeah. Try that second. That shit is good. Oh, no. I'll be right back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Peanut butter and jelly soda. Peanut butter and jelly time. Peanut butter and jelly time. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly with a baseball bat. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly with a baseball bat. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and All right. God, I thought the soda would be here by now. Anyway, peanut butter and jelly. Oh. Where are you? Where are you? There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Peanut butter jelly. Oh. All right, that's just not good. <laughs> that's... Where'd he go? It tastes I like just... chemicals. He, knows what he's he, could, he, couldn't, he couldn't handle it anymore. He had to... Oh, no. To oh, go. no, Daddy. That's bad. All right, so the aftertaste. Oh yeah! It's time to compare this to sweet corn. Sweet corn beverage, not whiskey. Actual sweet corn beverage. Oh, I can smell it. It smells like corn. It it straight up smells like it smells like corn. It look it looks like what I'm gonna do after this. Oh my you don't God, need to. Just like corn. Dude, I, I hesitate to say sweet corn. I, I think more like cream corn when I drink this. Okay. Oh, whoa. It smells like so at our Asian grocery store, exactly. we actually have ice cream. 
All that right, I'm is, going uh, with that over peanut butter jelly. And this is like a melted version of that, and it's yeah, delicious. I'm going with corn over peanut butter jelly. Yeah, okay, it, so. That's so weird. Corn, corn wins. Mm -hmm. oh, Sweet corn by far won that one. If, in my opinion. What, where the fuck did, did Brian go? Did anyone yeah, like PB&J more than, <laughs> more than that? No, I don't think so. <laughs> We lost the judge. We lost one. We lost, we lost the judge. <laughs> Will Henson. Oh. All right, let's get. Let's get. All right. Sweet corn is definitely better. All right, we're 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 nearing the end, guys. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Yeah, yeah sweet corn wins. Next. All right, next up is buffalo wing. Yes. Oh, we don't worry. Buffalo wing soda. Oh my god, I just burped up the corn though. That was really oh, good. Dude, I did the same thing. That corn's making me burp a lot. <laughs> I've been burping this whole time. <laughs> I've got another six pack of all these really weird sodas we've been doing. Yeah, I wonder if the sweet corn soda has corn syrup. Oh, it's only sugar. Oh, oh. oh my God, that, that was the most foul flavor. That really doesn't taste like buffalo wings, in my opinion. It literally just made my eyes water from my own burp. But, but low. What goes with buffalo wings other than ranch? Oh, no. <laughs> and blue cheese if you don't oh. are a terrorist or something. The buffalo wings so it's so weird. Are you ready for ranch though? Yeah, no. It is just God, that was funky. It was a little spicy. I like the spice on that though, yeah, but the flavor the end, was yeah. the flavor wasn't good, but the spice was actually really cool. For <laughs> the flavor is almost old bay. Yeah, yeah. I have had this one before. I give it that. Oh yeah. Oh fuck. I should pour less of that. <laughs> oh, this smells so bad. Natural All right, almost. I almost it's, just lost it. It smells like someone put a celery stick into a sprite. Oh, oh dude. This is we had chipotle <laughs> pineapple. Oh god. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Oh, oh my god. I don't wanna! I really don't wanna drink this. Damn it! Honestly, I'll I'll give it to the wing. The wing one! Uh, the wing one! The wing one! I did! Ah, the wing one! The wing one! Hang on. Yeah, I think I think here goes the ranch. Slurp it up. Oh. Definitely ranch. Definitely ranch. No, no, not ranch. Not ranch. Uh, not ranch. Wing. Wing. Do we have four wings? Wings. Wing. Wings. Wings. Personally, Kevin, I think that ra uh, that no, no, valley should remain no, no, no. hidden. God, yes. Buffalo. All right, all right. So you don't buffalo tell me wing. how to live my life. Dude, I'm gonna go like purge after this. Try the sweet corn. I need to go to the bathroom so bad. Yeah, uh, all right. <laughs> Next up is pumpkin pie because that's what you have after you engorge on buffalo wings or something. Maybe if we if we mix the ranch and buffalo together. No. 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 Don't do it. No. For science. This is very orange. Give me a. I think we were too ambitious with our sodas this year. She just dipped the wing right. in the ranch. <laughs> just dip your wings in ranch soda. That. I mean, this this is pumpkin spice latte. The soda. It tastes like I walked into a Yankee candle store. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. And, and, and also, we have enough brackets like yeah. to totally do <coughs> what we need to do. Because yeah. now we need to judge. Yeah. All right. All right. Quick, quick. Round robin. All right. Quick. Round robin. Is this so, the last soda one? Yeah, that was the last. Okay. This is the last uh, soda, and then we're gonna f uh, figure out the winner here. Thank you, God. This is, this is after dark limited edition hyped energy drink. This is this is not a flying toaster screensaver. Did anyone else get that joke? One, two, three, four. Four people got that joke, and I know all of them. I'm I'm sorry to everyone else. The the can the can looks sick. All right, here it is. If if you thought the pumpkin tasted like cinnamon. Maybe you should try this. I like the hype. I'm definitely not hype. Don't believe the hype. Neither am I. It's fruity and cinnamon. Going on as it goes along. It's not, it's and I like the pumpkin, so. Let's all just admit that Smirnoff Ice is the winner tonight. And we'll just... <laughs> all right, so, so I think. Pumpkin got three. Pumpkin's got three? Does, uh, what does hype have? Hype, hype. hype has three. Oh my God! Am I the fucking tiebreaker? I'm voting for hype because yeah. of caf because of caffeine. All right. All right. So now we've got to go through Buffalo versus hype. You guys. Hype. Hype. Everyone takes hype. That was not much of a contest. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, bacon versus corn. That corn, should be. Corn. Yeah. Raspberry tea versus maple. 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 Maple, maple. maple soda, right? Yeah. The, the maple soda. All right. Here's one, dog drool versus the lime lemon, lemon oh. uh, like the two, the two liter versus oh, the dog drool. Lime lime. Yeah. What was the other one? The dog drool. This is an interesting one, bug barf versus monster mucus. If you recall, bug barf, uh, well, monster mucus was the berry one, like the purple one. And uh, bug barf was the bug juice. Bug barf. Yeah. Bug barf. I actually like the monster mucus. So wait, we've got three for each. Who who didn't vote? Bug barf. All right, that's it. All right. Uh, watermelon crush versus rock and rye. Rock and rye. Rock and rye. All right, let's just admit it. I I really like the watermelon crush, but I gotta go with the rock and rye. All right, the drink maple versus the Jones orange sparkling. <laughs> maple drink. Yeah. I, I think the maple. I'll, I'll say the maple. The maple, yeah, the maple water. All right. Um, <laughs> blue moon mist versus the cafe vanilla. Blue moon mist. Blue moon. Blue moon. Yeah. Cafe vanilla. What? Yeah. Okay. Wait a second. Well, they're so different. Well, yeah, so would you rather drink dew or drink Soylent, basically? Soylent would save your life. <laughs> I'm going. I, uh, so, I like so the wait, moon how many Soylent votes do we have? And how many Blue Moon or Moon Mist or whatever vo votes do we have? And we have some, okay, so I guess it's going to be Cafe Vanilla. All right. Hold on. Almost there. Ca 
Cafe Vanilla Soylent versus Drink Maple. Soylent. 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 Yeah, I'll do Soylent. I did not see you take this fight. This is all incredibly painful. Rock and Rye versus Bug Barf. Rock and Rock and Rock and Rye. Okay. The lime two liter thing versus the maple cream soda. Maple cream soda. Maple cream soda. Maple cream soda. Okay. I actually like the lime better, but I'm like the, the odd man out on that. Um, corn versus hype. Hype. Well, okay, uh, this is a tie. Corn, uh, corn raise hands. Hype raise hands. Who Thank is abstaining? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's two versus two. Wait, we're we're hype. Hype. Okay, all right, so it's hype on that. That guy thought it was my birthday. David, oh. the guy with the mohawk, but my birthday was in fucking May. <laughs> Every day is your birthday, baby. Every day is my birthday. When did I fall out of a vagina? so close. What do we have now? We have Hype versus Maple. That's probably a no-brainer. I really like the Hype. I really just like the name of, that's the best name. I think it's a prize for that. Rock and Rye versus Soylent. Rock and Rye. So I think that brings us down to, wait a minute, is there one more? No, that's it. So that, that brings us down to Rock and Rye versus Maple, which is interesting because they're both kind of cream soda-y. Rock and Rye. Rock and Rock Rye. And rye. Maple. maple. Rock and Rye. Rock and Rye. Rock and rye. Like I think even if I abstain, it's Rock and Rye. rye. All right. So the great soda debate two has concluded with Rock and Rye as our winner. Fan right. the, the winner last year was Balls, which I think would probably win against Rock and Rye, to be honest. It takes a lot to dethrone Balls. It was just regular, straight-up balls. Everyone stay tuned because uh, now we're going to get the half-empty energy tank up here. And they're going to try some weird snacks and make faces just like we did. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Uh, sorry Thank you for long. joining us. Uh, please feel free to help us empty these bottles. Please do not throw them away.